Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream, and I'm going to do our July the 14th just for today in a meditation. I'm so excited to be with you this morning. I know I am running several hours behind from my normal posting time, so I beg uh, for your forgiveness on that one. Uh, and I have a really good excuse, but for right now, I'm so excited to be here and to get into it. Let's go straight to it. Uh, let's see here. The title of the meditation for today is An Inside Job. Social acceptability does not equal recovery. That comes from the basic text, page 22. One of the things, one of the first things, rather, that happens to many of us in recovery is that we start to look better. We get healthier, we bathe, we dress more appropriately. And without the goading of active addiction, many of us finally stop stealing, lying, and hustling. We start to look normal just by removing the drugs. Looking normal is very different than being normal. Acceptability in the eyes of the world is a benefit of recovery. It is not the same thing as recovery. We can enjoy the benefits of recovery, but we must take care to nurture their true source. Lasting recovery isn't found in acceptance from others, but in the inner growth set in motion by the 12 steps. Let me repeat that. Lasting recovery isn't found in acceptance from others, but in the inner growth set in motion by the 12 steps. Just for today, I know that looking good isn't enough. Lasting recovery is an inside job. Beautiful. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the we version of the serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. Thank you. God grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Just for today, please, and thank you. So in regards to an inside job, it's really a very short meditation, right? Uh, but it has a component to it that will never change, that will never change. The inside job that we do oftentimes does not start at the moment that we put down the drugs. I wanna make that clear. That's why you will find people with time clean, but they're still living dirty, okay? You've heard that slogan, right, of being a dressed up garbage can. You've heard the slogan about recovery is an inside job, right? Okay, so this is what we're talking about. Now, you get to decide and I get to decide, right, which version of the recovered individual do I want to be? The person in recovery, which version of that do I want to be? Because it's almost like the term recovery can apply to so many different areas. If, if I'm in the hospital and, and someone says, I haven't seen you, where you been? Girl, I've been sick. Okay. And yeah, I've been sick and I'm in the hospital. Oh, okay. That explains why I'm not seeing you, right? Well, what's wrong with you? Girl, they told me I got such and such. And what's the treatment? They're going to be doing this and doing that, and I should be able to get out of here by the end of the week. Okay, right? So there, there's so much more that follows saying I'm sick. Now, that's just a real experience, right? Many of you know I've been diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer. Right? Many of you know this, right? There's so much more to just saying that, right? There's so much more to saying I'm sick. Okay, you're sick, but 
What type of sickness is this? Where are you? What are you doing about it? What are the doctors saying, right? What's your prognosis? There's so much more to it. Same thing with being in recovery, right? It's not just, it, it feels like it's just a buzzword because people say it all the time. I'm in recovery. And, <laughs> okay, you understand what I'm, where I'm going with this, right? You're in recovery and... What else? I'm a I'm an addict. And are you an active addict? Are you an addict in recovery? Well, tell us exactly where you're at. That's why we say it's an inside job. Because you can be in recovery, right? And not recovering. It's a term that is so basic that you get to decide where you want to fit in that. Now, if you want to be like Mighty Stream and, and have to tell <laughs> experience, strength, and hopes of uh, tell, you know, stories about all of the wrong things I did when I first got here and for many years, go ahead. Maybe you already are like me. Okay, that's fine. But the rubber meets the road at some time. And we need to begin to have an active change in our personality. And the way that we suggest that a person do that, does that rather, is using the steps, right? Working the steps with someone that has experience. I would say if you have the opportunity to read through them, read through them. But as far as actually writing and working them out, I would say find a sponsor to help you do that because it is an inside job and it can be one that sometimes drags out things, right? You, you get to digging and you usually find the goal, <laughs> but not before you find all the other stuff, <laughs> right? You can start digging and you're going to find some things that you're going to want to consult with someone in recovery and talk to them about it. And same thing with me, right? So here's the deal, guys. It's an inside job and you get to decide how you deal with your recovery, how you deal with your sickness of being an addict. You get to decide that. Nobody gets to decide that for you. We say it all the time. You remember when you say you are, right? But are you the type of member that someone in trouble can turn to and trust that you would give them sound suggestions, advice about recovery. I know we say we don't give advice, but in reality, when we're each other's eyes and ears, it's just another word of saying someone that you can talk to that can give you some feedback. Don't get hung up on the words, okay? All right, so I want for you to have a beautiful day on purpose. I would say that uh, this July 14th is the first July 14th that I have ever seen in all of my life, right? These 56, 57 years of all of my life that I have seen with triple negative breast cancer. But you know what? My cancer is curative and I'm so grateful. I want to tell you ladies, check your breast. I want to tell you, gentlemen, have your prostate checked, right? If you notice something different, go get checked. Do your yearly checkups. It could save your life. And it's because of this pattern and follow through because you can have stuff checked out and not follow through, right? It's because of this pattern that I'm in the group of one of the most aggressive cancers but I'm in a stage two and it's curative. So I have some rough days ahead of me. I understand that. I want your prayers because I start chemo on Tuesday. And to tell you the truth, I don't know what to expect. But what I do know is I won't be using and I won't be abusing individuals just because I'm uncomfortable and in pain. 
I will not do that one, right? And that's because what? I've done some work. It's an inside job. And I can say that I've come far enough in this recovery that I can control how I respond to things. And I can say pretty much 98.5% sure that even in my uncomfortability, I refuse to abuse people and make them pay for what I'm going through. So I'm looking forward to recovery. I'm embracing, uh, when I say recovery, chemotherapy, I'm embracing this because I know that it means that I have longevity. It means that I have some years, right? Barring anything else coming up, it will mean that I have some more time to finish raising these boys and impacting the world around me. Listen, my name is Mighty Stream. I'm going to have a beautiful day on purpose. And I want for you to do the same. Promise me that, okay? Talk to you tomorrow.